something happened and it fell on him. He'd be all messed up for life. This is crazy. What are you doing, Black Boy? underneath here. Right here. Where that U-bolt goes. Down. And that piece of steel goes across where it's going to fall. It goes through right there. But. There's no way of getting this little U-bolt in here. I don't know how they did it. So, I'm just going to take a, let's get the stand, I'm just going to take a bolt, real through there, and that's open on the back, just put a bolt right there on each side because this will keep it from going this way, all that U-bolt for is keep it from jumping up down. So yeah, I'll just put a, a bolt right there and leave it as such. Alrighty, I'm gonna try this voiceover. I've never done one before, but it was really windy when I did this video. So you can see here, this is the gooseneck hitch. Uh, there's five bolts on each side that holds the side plates on. Well, and the top plate as well. I had it welded, as you can see right here. I had it welded on the ends too, as well as you'll see here in just a second. Um, right here, I'm pointing to. I had that weld, it's just a little bitty weld on each end. And I also had it welded underneath on the inside as well, so it's welded on all four corners. And this here is the Kurt safety chain hooks. I do not recommend those. I did not like them. The bolt thread pitch to the hook itself thread pitch is different, so they really didn't do too well. Uh, that's there is the bed runners. Uh, the aluminum bed will sit on because the frame's steel and when you put metal and aluminum together they oxidize and corrode okay on this side as you can see I'm missing a bolt I have not put it in because I have misplaced it somewhere near me um, you see here I had to notch out them boards for it to sit flush with the frame and the uh, hitch the top plate uh, that's an inch plate steel with a two and five sixteenths ball. Um, I haven't put the sixth bolt in. I don't know if I will. In the back there, it's going to be three quarter if I do. I may just saw it off a couple inches back behind the bolts there that you see at the end. And, but I, I have not decided on that yet because five bolts should hold it easy peasy. Uh, that top plate is 34 and 7 eighths long and it's 12 inches wide. I wanted the uh, top plate to be a little wider than the frame. That way if it would, if the welds would ever break, you could see it on the side and wouldn't have to take the hitch off to uh, weld it on the outside if needed be. So anyways, I hope this works. <laughs> 